This is Motivation Daily. You need motivation? Tune in now. Hey, what's up? You're rocking with the one only D-Man. This is another Motivation Daily. Make sure you turn on your notifications and subscribe to this channel for more content from me. And today I'm going to be talking about five signs that your friend is fake. Now, a fake friend is someone who pretends to have your best interest at heart, but in reality, they really don't. So look out for those type of people. Snakes. That's why I say, keep your grass low because you never know who's around you. All right. Sign one, jealousy. You would think they got your back. You think they're happy for you when they see you moving up, but in reality, they're jealous of you. They're not happy that it's you. You know, they probably talk behind your back. They're probably mad. They probably down you when you're not around. But when you come around, they smile in your face. They act like they're on your side. They act like they bang with you. But in reality, don't they don't. So stay away from people like that. Be careful. Look out for stuff like that. You know, they, they never act happy. They're sarcastic when you give them good news. Just little funny things. Peep it. When you see those type of things, stay away. Also, number two, they're not supportive. I don't care what you're doing. You could want to be an artist. You could make music. You could be trying to fly a plane one day. Do whatever you want to do. They will not be supportive. They won't tell you things to boost you or push you. They won't share your information. They won't share your success. They won't boast about you. A real friend will boast about your progress, will be happy to let people know what you're doing. When I'm on Facebook or Instagram, I see other people repost artists that they know or they're familiar with or some of their friends that they know that are doing good. So if you have a friend, if they support you in everything you do and they're pushing you to continue, then you know you have a good friend. But if they're not doing that, then they're fake. Also, sign three, they can be very misleading. Fake friends are misleading. You think that they got your back. You think that they want to see your best interest, but they don't. Like if you're doing things that are wrong, they won't correct you on it. They'll just let you do it. You know, if you smoke too much, if you drink too much, if you lie, if you do certain things that aren't good, you know, if you speed and, you know, one day, you know, can end up into an accident or you crash and hurting yourself, they won't tell you these things like, hey, man. Hey, look, I think you're doing this the wrong way, bro. You should try it this way. You should do it this way. When you're dealing with people that don't give you good information or tell you the truth about yourself, they mislead you. They just let you do stuff. Even if they see you sinking, you could be, look, you could be walking and you're in front of a bridge. And if you're not careful, there's a crack in that bridge and they see it and you fall, then you, you're, you're doomed. They'll watch you fall. They are very misleading. Sign four. They will keep information away from you. Like if they know that certain things is happening around that can help you go forward or push you in whatever way you're trying to do things, they'll keep it away from you. Like sometimes you might have a friend and, you know, usually with students you expect, hey, I ain't do my homework and you might let me copy or giving me some information. Sometimes they're not going to want to tell you, you know, or you can be doing something whereby they know you're good at something. And let's say there's a contest tomorrow, like a singing contest, and you might win because you have a bomb voice. They'll keep those things away from you. They won't tell you. If they know people that can help you get to the next level, that can push you in whatever area you're trying to do, or good things they know, they'll keep it to themselves and hide it away from you. Also, sign five, they will try to use you. Hey, can I get a ride? You got that friend that whenever you're doing something, they call you for a ride. They don't ever want to give you no gas money. You got friends like that. Do you have friends that anytime they in need, they know how to call you and be around you, but whenever it's your turn, they don't really, they're not there. They're gone. You turn around, they, they gone. That's a fake friend. Do you have a friend that whenever you need, they do not help you? They're using you. So stay away from people like that and notice those traits. Hey man, I need this. Test them. Test them. Hey, I need this. You, you, you got it. Oh, I need some advice. Man, little things like that, that's how you know if people are really rocking with you or not. Let me tell you a story. I have friends I used to hang with from college. We were cool. We would do our thing. And, you know, we would support each other. At that time, we would smoke weed and do stuff, you know, that weren't really good for us. But that's what we were doing because we were caught up in that, you know, lifestyle at that time. And um, I would sell weed. And then one of my other friends, he would do it too at the time. And whenever he goes, he'll ask me to hold him down, do his thing. i help him. i hold him down. You know, as much as I love selling weed, I never mess with his mess with his stash. I leave it alone. I just if he if he had a customer, I help him out. Anyway, we finished school. We're done with that. On some new things. I I was having weed, and one day this person came around me. I offered this person weed. I was like, Hey, yo, you want some? He was like, No, nah, I'm good. 
So I was doing an order. So then I stepped out, I left my stuff in the car, like, okay, so my man's everything cool, everything good. When I came back, my weed was gone. Half of it was gone. I'm like, yo, what happened to my weed? And the person was playing it off like they ain't do nothing. So I was like, mm, people are fake. You gotta be careful. If you're my friend, why would you steal from me? Why would you take from me? If that was misleading, you know, you took something from me, you know, you feel, I feel like you used me, you stole from me, and you try to play around it and act like you didn't. So be careful of people like that. You have to stay away. Also, being nice to people. I was being friendly, like, hey, 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 what's up? Y'all want to come to my crib? Come over. And my crib was the hangout spot. Different people come over. We have a good time. We'll turn up. I was showing love to people. Can I get a ride, D? All right, come on. I got you. Not even asking them for gas money. I, I, I got you. Being Mr. Man, do not be too nice because people will play with your niceness. They'll take it for granted. Be nice with the right people. I was like, all right, come on, come on, come on, man. Y'all can come in. So when I was in Maryland, Eastern Shore it was very racist out there because the cops would try to stop you, especially the black students pull us over and, you know, this antagonist. It was terrible. I didn't like it. So weed was illegal at that time. And one day I was driving and my car was junking. I was like, you know what? Let me clean my car. So when I clean my car, and usually when the police stop you, they have the dogs because they knew a lot of students like to smoke weed at that school. And they've arrested so many students off that around that time. So I cleaned my car when I was parked there and I was checking. And when I jumped to the set, checking between the seats, when I put my hands in between the cracks of my back seat, I seen a baggie with weed seeds and particles and stems. And I was like, damn, was somebody trying to set me up, like see me in a bad position? One of these people that I give a ride to, that I open my, uh, my open up my heart to, I try to be nice to. Are you trying to use me and see me messed up? Because if I would have got caught with that, I would have went to jail. They wouldn't want to hear that. They'll probably try to say, hey, he's growing weed. He has seeds. Or he probably distributes this stuff. And this is the remnants, you know, because it was in a baggie. And I was just like, yo, that's petty. So whoever did that took the time to stuff it in real good. So if I'm pulled over, the dog would just be moving around. <laughs> and actually, you know, it's alerting the cops and they're coming and saying, hey, can you stop out the car? And they're searching and they find that stuff and it's on me. While whoever put it down is probably at home with their feet up with Becky or Tisha having a good time or Lorenzo or Bobby if they go the other way. So at the end of the day, make sure you're careful with the people you call your friends. Also, in terms of jealousy, if you have friends that are jealous of you, and fake and they act phony be careful of that because a real friend would be happy to see you get it for instance one time my friend was like yo i'm gonna come over and hang out with you my friend at that time and he came over and i was being interviewed but before he came i said how long are you gonna be around for he was like like two hours we gonna chill so when he came and seen i was being interviewed by somebody he was surprised and he ended up leaving in like 15 minutes and i was like he's like bro i gotta go in the middle of nowhere i'm just like okay deuces but back then in school, these people would be laughing like, hey, you you don't want to go out to party. You just want to make music all day. But now, with what I'm doing, I'm making progress. You should be happy to see that going on. You should be like, yeah, my man's getting it. He's being interviewed. All the hard work, all the time we were laughing and joking. We seeing him get to where he want to get to or make strides. A real friend will be happy for you, supportive. They'll root for you. They'll root for you like you're a hero because they know that you started as zero or they know where you came from. But when you see or you're around people that don't do that, they're fake. Stay away from them, for real. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bells to see more content that I drop on a daily basis. Also, if you have any suggestions or advice for me to improve my content or topics to speak about, make sure you email me at ngns1ent at gmail.com. Thanks for your time and continue watching. D-Man!